everybody this is Tulsi and today I'm in Budapest and now I'm, I'm on my way to the Central Market Hall it's also called the Great Market Hall this is the biggest market in Budapest and it was built in the 1800s and it is actually very popular tourist attraction here so let's go and have a look there this is Calvin there and we are going to Forum there which is right next to the Liberty Bridge the central market is located in Fovampir, which is very next to the Liberty Bridge, the huge green bridge. bridge. Uh, the Liberty Bridge is actually my favorite. So the location is there and it's very within the city center and very approachable. And that's why it's very touristic actually. So I'm in front of the market right now and before I go inside, I would like to give some information that the, Hungar the central market is of three floors. The ground floor includes fish, pickles, meat, and you also get an Aldi there. And uh, the first floor includes fruits, vegetables, Tokai wine, Hungarian paprika, and all such stuffs. And in the second floor, you get the Hungarian souvenirs, um, you get a home-cooked meal, and I'm not very sure if the second floor is open, because the entire year of 2020, it didn't open. So let's go and see. Uh, let's hope if it's open, I can go up and record. I've been living here three years. I'm going to start with the second floor. I see that the stairs are open, but I can see that not all the shops are open. I like this view a lot. I have a nice picture of the market. Right here. They're all closed. This is a language. Yeah, we have some souvenirs. Once or two times. I was like, well, this is a touristic thing. This one is the fox. And this is a dog. Some Hungarian dolls. Hello. 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 Yes. So I think one of my for Uh -huh. Did you Hello. stitch them? Yeah. I see, she's doing it. That's so beautiful. Can I record it? Yeah. Beautiful. That is ready. Upstairs. Did you do all of them? No, we together five women. Oh. <laughs> that is the small girl the design. This is the uh, Mezokovesh design. Hello. The traditional. That is uh, also from Mezokovesh. Okay. And uh, this design also from. Tifel, Kalocha, or Mezokovesh. Here is Mezokovesh. Mm -hmm. And that is Kalocha. Okay. This is the Mezokovesh design. This is the Kalocha design. Oh, so, okay. is this like and a tablecloth? That is a runner, yes, on table. Mm -hmm. And this also Kalocha design. Mm -hmm. They're very beautiful. It's more color, uh, more uh, motif. Uh, Mezokovesh design, not so many colors. <laughs> bye, have a bye nice day. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> 
Let's go there. This one is nice. Yeah. Right? Ooh, ooh, ooh. That one. It's blue one. Yeah, uh, that one is nice. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's made in bronze. That's interesting. Because it's too big. Yeah, I also so don't think these are some common jewelry that I would like, but I think these are something special. Hmm. I don't see it in my daily life. Yeah, 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 of course, of course. Let's see, it's a, it has a gold leaf. So nice. Glass jewelry, it says. Yeah, it's glass jewelry. Hmm. Oh, check this. These are made with Nespresso capsules. You know the capsules for the coffee? Yeah. Damn. How do you make them? It's us, yeah. Oh, how do you make them? I don't like, know. Like, they, they just crushed they it? They are pressed. And they just made earrings out of that. That's so nice. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hot tea. <laughs> A hot tea. An elephant. <laughs> Bacha hot tea. Wow, look at this. It's like so beautiful. <laughs> this one says that it's glass, but why? Yes. How come it's glass? Like it has pieces of glass, or how is that made? That, uh, this is the picture, and more the special glass. Uh -huh. One and one and one more. It's many. Many layers. Yes, okay. yes. Oh. Not the normal glass. Uh -huh. And this special. And this one says that it has like gold leaf, so it's yes, same. Yeah. It starts with yes, gold, yes. and then you paint it on top. Yeah, uh, yes. No top in inside. Mm, okay. And that is the porcelain. Okay. It's the old porcelain and hand painted. Okay. And this one says also that is. Hand this painted, is uh, hand so. painted. This bronze. You okay. know bronze. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah bronze. And yes. then it's just painting. Yes, it's painting and fire okay. and. Uh, they are all super nice. <laughs> is it very typical? Like yes. This, type of, uh... Uh, this is a typical motif, typical mm. flowers. Mm. And there is the typical, and this is the cream design, yeah. it's different. But this is the typical Hungarian flowers. And this part is very creative. <laughs> yes, <laughs> this is just a, <laughs> it's <a> funny. <laughs> This is bread holder, bread, oh. cookies, oh. candies. Just in his side, the flowers is handmade, okay. hand embroidery. Okay. Nice. And you put this in a basket? Or yes, it... and you stop on the table and oh. maybe you can put it in your basket. Yes, it's... <laughs> is it very common in Hungary? Mm -hmm. Creative. What about the other ones? Because I've seen a lot of the round ones. Uh, yeah, the rod example. is the bread. This is the, the bread. Okay. French bread and maybe for the cookies. Okay, okay. The smallest mm. piece. Okay, okay. Okay. If you come back, we can give you a little some discount, okay? Oh, okay. We'll be okay. Okay, okay. Just tomorrow, no. Okay. <laughs> Sunday, no. <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> back out. I just went. Can you can you give me that the shop name? Kosata. I just went by a very beautiful um, shop, which I think they have fantastic souvenirs. Because this will be such uh, like other souvenirs, such as keychain, magnets, they're so common. But I just came across this store, which were selling jewelries, and that shop is Kosata here in the second floor where they sell souvenirs everything and i came across such beautiful jewelry like they're all handcrafted different gold plated glass jewelries porcelain jewelries and so beautiful and i think these are some good gifts that you can take from hungary and give to your friends and family i definitely recommend that uh, shop it has a very beautiful art collection so it's posata the lady told posata means bird I recommend. They have very beautiful design and I think these are something that are worth taking your home.
now we should like try to get moving. Yeah. By the it's a cat. <laughs> Much. Oh yeah. It's also some owls. Much. That was the second floor and now we are going to the first floor which is which has fruits, vegetables, wine, cheese, fresh products, everything as such. Uh, we are actually kind of running out of time because every Saturday they close at 3 p.m. and now it's gonna be 2 p.m. already so we got a rush but yeah now we're gonna be here and you can see how does it look like it's beautiful. Sausages. Fresh watermelon. Yeah. This thing is 348 forints per kilo. And I think I'm gonna get this. Let's get it. What is summer without a watermelon? <laughs> Some cherries. You want cherries? Yeah. Okay. Get a basket. Take your cherries. Weigh them and peel them. Four and a four. Yeah, I'll take two corns. Okay. Um, that's all. Uh, can I get two corns? Okay. No, but I can tell you the No fresh. No fresh? Yes. No fresh? Not no, at last, I think you must. Because then one. One? Okay. Mm -hmm. You? That's all? This. Beautiful. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. <laughs> one. And this. Okay. Yes. Then two and two cherries. Okay. Can I get some tomatoes? How many? What did you just get? I got four. How do you say four? Two hundred. Two hundred? Yes. Good evening. Yeah. This is a mushroom store. They have all kind of mushrooms. People are already closing their markers because it's one hour to closure time. So I better go fast and I really want to show the cheese store. The cheese store is very, I like that store and there is also a wine store here and they sell the local Hungarian Tokai wines there, it's beautiful and I recommend you to try the Tokai wine when you come to Hungary because wine is extremely popular in it's, it's a very popular, very popular uh, alcohol here in Hungary so give it a try try all kinds of wine they have very big wine uh, vineyard in Hungary so let's go there another thing is the the sausages the sausages there are there are very nice sausages here in the market I'm kind of in a rush now I see the cheese shop is still open Okay. Thank you, Visla. I got my cheese. Oh, this is my Thank you. Bye bye. This is a sausage and um, salami store next to the cheese store. Hey, 
these are the Tokai wines. These are made in the region Tokai and they are very popular. So if you're looking for souvenirs or gifts, you can also pick these Tokai wines. Some crafted beer, some chocolate, some handmade chocolates. Palinka, mini Palinka bottles. Another thing that's very popular in Hungary is the Hungarian paprika. So here you're also going to find very a different variety of Hungarian paprika. There is sweet, there is a little bit spicy. Now I'll be going to the underground floor where you can find fresh fish and pickles. I'm gonna go fast because I'm running out of time. This is the Aldi. So if you're looking forward to look to do some grocery shopping here, you can do it in Aldi. And if we move forward, this is the steak shop, very popular steak shop, and they sell very good meat. But now it's closed. I'm just hoping the fish markets are not closed. Okay, I think they are closed because there's no much people. This plate I saw it's used for barbecue. They keep different pieces of bread and meat here. And these are some Hungary Hungarian produce. Let's see if we have some luck. I don't think because it's pretty empty. Usually this place is super crowded. Okay, I just learned that the fish market closes at 2 p.m. here. And the vegetable and the fruit section that is in the ground floor, that closes at 3 p.m. So that's why I missed out everything. But here you usually find fresh fish and pickles. So everybody's cleaning up. Oh, you can see you can see some fishes here. Hello fishes. Hello. Found one store that's open. Okay, so today I finished my great central market haul and unfortunately I did not find the fish market I missed it out because of time uh, but I'll come here again and I will show you how does the fish market look here in Budapest uh, you get a good choice of uh, fresh fish here the popular choices are carp salmon heck I don't know what's the name in English it's heck in Hungarian these are the popular fish choices and uh, the Fishes are generally a little expensive here because we don't have sea, but you have the choices to buy fresh fish. I'll come here again and I'll show you there. But nevertheless, that was my haul today. And if you did like my uh, video, subscribe to my channel, like, share, and I will see you again on my next video. Till then, bye bye.